What's up, guys? Oh, that's my elite impersonation. You know what? I hate to say this. I hate to say this. Elite Fleet, you're 100% right. When you made a comment about being on carnivore and be careful when you fart, I laughed at you. I thought you were silly. And uh, I tell you, yesterday, man, I had to fart and I was like yeah but his lead no oh boy did I make a mess let's just put it that way so I'm on the carnivore diet you know an elite was uh, criticizing Boggs for doing what he's doing you know what I got a lot of respect for Boggs so I'm not gonna dump on him you know it's probably emotional for him he's probably like me struggled with his weight all his life I was thinking of going to Mexico, getting the operation, but I know my limitations. Could I, could I put in the work and do the liquid diet and the prep diet and all that bullshit? I don't think I could. I'm wearing my Canadian fringe minority hat because our illustrious leader uh, said that uh, people that don't. Uh, support the jabby jab and all those mandates part of the fringe minority well because we're free thinkers but I got another hat I gotta change it you know what don't mind me I'm bald as fuck and I don't care let me put on my the better hat check that out boys Trump let's keep America great and some people ask me, they go, DJ, why do you care who becomes president of the United States? My answer is, whoever becomes, uh, when America's prosperous, as Canadians, we're prosperous. Because we're partners. We're the largest trading partner. So, yeah, I support Trump. I got some shirts on the way that are coming. Trump, baby. You know, who would you rather have? Let me ask my American friends. Who would you rather have? A guy that did the job? The guy who knows how to run a business? The guy that, you know, kept the economy good? The fuel was cheap? Everything was moving right? Or do you want uh, Kamala? She calls herself uh, Kamala. It's not Kamala. It's Kamala. Just like Kamala, the Ugandan giant. If it was Kamala, it would be K-U, not K-A. It's Kamala. Come on, Kamala. You know what? You went to school in Canada. You went to school in Montreal, Quebec. That tells you everything about Montreal. You know, that's how she got her fucked up thinking. But yeah, you know what? I support Trump. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If you guys care about your jobs. You guys care about your country. You guys care about your second amendment your right to free speech and all that you might not like Trump as a person but you gotta look at the platforms look at Kamala Kamala was a terrible DA terrible prosecutor she never won a vote in her life never won on any election in her life she's a DEI hire and Biden admits that she's a DEI hire and let's face it she she was put there for a reason and then she picks this guy. I'm going to call him uh, Tampon Tim. And you want to talk about stolen valor. Let's talk about this guy, stolen valor. He, he left right before deployment. Fucking dropped off his shit and said, I'm out. Because he didn't want to go overseas and go to uh, Iraq. You know, and then they're... They're... Uh, going after JD Vance because he didn't he didn't do combat. Listen, so what if he was in the rear with the gear? At least the guy at least the kid went to fucking Iraq while this other guy ran away, you know? And he says that he was a retired as a sergeant major or whatever he was. No he wasn't. Because he didn't finish the program. He he bailed. He jumped. So that's my two cents. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another one. Willie's Pub? Fuck you. Oh. You know what this is, Willie? 
two bouquets of these. Fuck you, Willie's Pub. Fuck you in the ass. Ah, who cares? Willie's fucked. But everybody take care. Peace out. You know what? The only thing that Elite was right about was the, uh, you know, don't fart when you're on carnivore. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let me tell you, it was a fucking mess. But that's okay. Um, yeah, it was just like, and I thought he was foolish when he came out with that, but on that part, he was right. When he after, went after Boxy Bugs, no, he wasn't right. But, you know, he wants a pat on the back that he did it the hard way. Here's your clap, Lee. Here's your clap. Good job. Good job. Good job. Listen, I've been struggling with weight all my life. I'm no f small fuck. I'm 6'5", over 400 pounds. I lost 30. It's not easy. Boggs did what he thought was right for him. Elite, you do what you think is right for you. I do what I think is right for me. No judgment here, man. No judgment. And you know what? I felt good when I was able to buy shit off the rack. When I went... So let me tell you. When I went to Alberta, because there's a lot of fat fucks out there, out west... When I can walk into a Walmart, yeah, I know Elite's going to say, all right, you're fucking Walmart. When I was able to walk into a Walmart and grab jeans off the rack, I was like, yeah. And a shirt and whatever, I'm like, yeah, man. So, listen, TC, I got you. I got you, TC. Keep up the good work. Don't let the haters hate. Fuck them. You're not friends with them anyways. There are people on the internet. Oh, and where's James Best channel? Anybody know? I tried to find it. I think it's gone. Somebody please confirm. Oh, and another thing. Whoever's doing these uh, YouTube fucking strikes or whatever, I get like 30 a day. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. I ain't taking no shit down. I bet, I bet you it's Willie. Because Willie's a punk bitch. So, watch, I'm going to get another 40 because I called Willie a punk bitch. All right, everybody. As Narc would say, they hate us because they in us. Trump, 2024. Come on. Like they said, go and vote. Go and vote early. Take your friends to vote. Grab some people. You know, you don't go on voting day. Because you know they're going to fuck with the computers and fuck with the shit like they did. And go, oh, sorry, we ran out of paper. We can't process this. As soon as the early voting opens in your state, vote fucking early. Grab, grab all your friends, your parents, your cousins, whatever. And say, let's go down and vote. And Because listen, if you don't vote, you don't have a right to complain. You know, a lot of young men died for your right to vote. That's all I gotta say. Peace out, everybody.